It is going to be Modi versus Didi in the West Bengal Assembly elections. The West Bengal Assembly elections is being closely watched in the country. BJP has made significant inroads in the state in the last Lok Sabha elections. It is now looking to conquer the eastern state which has never been ruled by the Saffron party. Engineering defections in rival parties was first started by the Trinamool Congress. This is now being employed by the BJP. Along with BJP engineer defection, corruption and communal polarization are dominating the election narrative. The assembly elections in West Bengal will be held in eight phases starting from March 27 and concluding on April 29. In total, there are 294 assembly seats in Bengal. BJP is luring away TMC's experienced leaders and MLAs to strengthen its own organizational capabilities as they do not have experienced vote managers in the state. The list of such TMC turncoats joining the BJP includes Shubhendu Adhikari, the former trusted lieutenant of Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, former Minister Raji Banerjee, former number no. 2 and General Secretary of the TMC Mukul Roy, and former Union Minister from TMC Dinesh Trivedi. Bengal ki janta ne Trinamool Congress ko nakar diya. In response, TMC has dubbed these defectors as traitors and has raised questions over their credibility. BJP is attacking TMC of rampant corruption. The discrepancies in the distribution of central aids following the cyclone Amphan, coal theft and cut money, which is a bribe to access government schemes, are some of the corruption issues that BJP is raking up. Mamta Banerjee has retaliated by dubbing the allegations as baseless and politically motivated and accused the Saffron party of using the Central Bureau of Investigation and the Enforcement Directorate against the TMC out of political vendetta. The issue of communal polarization has become a barb that is being hurled by both the BJP and the TMC at each other, while the BJP has accused TMC of resorting to divisive politics by indulging in appeasement politics, the TMC has hit back alleging that the Saffron party was trying to create division between Hindus and Muslims jeopardizing the secular tradition of the state. Increasingly, it looks like Mamta has decided to take the BJP head-on. Syndicate! What syndicate? India knows only one syndicate that is Narendra Modi or Amit Shah. There is no other syndicate. By deciding to contest from Nandigram against the BJP candidate and her former protege Adhikari, she finds herself in an almost all-or-nothing battle. CAA and NRC is the other issue that Mamta Banerjee and Prime Minister Narendra Modi are at loggerheads with each other, but suddenly the BJP has gone silent on them. Mamta says that the centre will never agree to withdraw the laws and is going to enforce them whenever it sees fit. It remains to be seen how much impact the CAA and NRC issues have on the outcome on the assembly elections in the state.